Today, we're gonna be going over how to get the absolute best sleep. But first, before we go into how to get the best sleep, I think it's important to understand what sleep does because us as humans aren't meant to be sleep deprived. Of course, we've all survived an all nighter before, but it's definitely not going to be the best for us. And it affects a lot of different processes in your body. Actually a hint, it affects almost every process in your body. So let's go ahead and take a look at what sleep does. I'll go ahead and have a graphic popped up here, but sleep is going to aid in muscle recovery, strength, and growth. It's also going to aid in hormone regulation, things like insulin, growth hormone, testosterone, leptin, ghrelin. It's also going to help strengthen your immune system, regulate your metabolism and your appetite, and it has a positive effect on your blood sugar levels. It's going to allow your digestive system to function properly, and it's going going to help with fat loss and a lot of other things too. Let's go ahead and get into how to optimize and prioritize your sleep. So number one is looking at routine. So keeping the same waking and sleeping times can be extremely helpful for your circadian rhythm, and it can help with the proper rise of cortisol in the morning and the rise of melatonin in the evening, as well as having a wind down routine. This can really help your internal clock and help you when it comes to falling asleep faster and staying asleep. Going into number two is going to be caffeine. Now, I love caffeine. I'm definitely not telling you you can't have caffeine, but 200 milligrams of caffeine is gonna be great. It's going to help with you being more alert, being able to have better focus, but when you overdo it on caffeine, you can end up being very anxious, you can be restless, you can have shakiness, and a lot of other things like insomnia. So being able to stop caffeine a certain amount of time before bed, so a good rule of thumb is is gonna be four to nine hours before bed. And when we're looking at intake for caffeine, it's gonna be two to three milligrams per kilogram of body weight. So each person is going to be different here, but really learning how caffeine affects you is going to really help your quality of sleep. Going into the third thing to help prioritize and maximize your sleep is gonna be the environment in which you are sleeping in. So we wanna keep it cool, dark, and dreamy. So really looking at your windows, if you can't get full darkness, being able to get blackout shades, as well as the temperature that you're sleeping in. There have been a lot of studies to show that 68, 67 is a really great temperature to be sleeping in and it to be colder than it normally is during the day. We we also wanna take a look at what you're doing before bed. Like I talked about that wind down routine. And since we're talking about the bedroom environment, are you watching TV before bed? If so, is it something that is extremely stimulating? And even if it's not sitting in front of a screen right before bed can make it harder to go to sleep. So being able to turn off screens can be really helpful as well as I hate to say it, but kicking the pets off the bed. This one was a really, really hard one for me personally to implement but their size as well as their movement throughout the night can really disrupt your own sleep. And also their fur and their dander can worsen your allergies, which again is gonna make it harder for you to personally sleep as well as having high quality mattress and pillows. We are asleep for a good portion of our life. So we wanna make sure that it is the best that it can be. And again, we've all woken up after a bad night of sleep and it just stinks or at a crappy hotel with a crappy mattress. You just don't feel your best. So really investing in yourself in your sleep and in your quality of work, again, circling back to everything sleep affects, that's gonna come down to also the investment you're making when your mattress and pillow are involved. Going into number four here is going to be your training and nutrition. So if you are under eating, this can affect your sleep as well because you're not getting enough calories throughout the day and that is going to affect the quality of your sleep. It's also going to be something if you are eating too close to bed. So I am a nighttime snacker as well. I love to be able to wind down in the evening with my husband with some snacks on the couch, but eating too too close to bed can not give your digestion system proper time to digest the food, which then is not only going to affect your digestion, but also your quality of sleep. So making sure that you're finishing food a minimum
minimum of two hours before bed is really going to help again when it comes to that quality of sleep. And even having a cutoff time for water can be good so that you're not peeing in the middle of the night because that's no fun either. So then when we look at training, being in a place where you are over training can cause you to have really poor sleep. That is one of the biofeedback markers that we get with our clients when it comes to having too much training volume or not enough time when it comes to recovery and sleep as a recovery aspect as well. So within your training, also paying attention to how close to bed you are training. I understand that it is going to fit into some of your all schedules better when it comes to training after work or training when you finish a lot of your tasks for the day. But if you're having a hard time winding down before bed, if you can move your training up at all when it comes to timing, being able to do that or possibly utilizing some things to really calm down in the evening, like different supplements of taurine and theanine, or being able to really focus on that wind down time before bed so that it's not affecting your sleep as much. So those are gonna be the four main things you wanna prioritize when it comes to really making sure your sleep is number one. And if you remember anything, remember sleep is for the elite. I know people like to say sleep is for the weak, but it is for the elite. And if you wanna be better at your job, if you wanna be a better husband, a better wife, a better friend, if you want to have more success in your life, I can promise you sleep is going to help with that. It is one of the greatest performance enhancing drugs that most people aren't even utilizing. So even if you just wanna look better, sleep is for you. So make sure you prioritize these few things and leave any comments down below. If you're new here, hi, my name is Sue, and we would absolutely love for you to join the Physique Development family, and you can do so by hitting the subscribe button. If you're already a subscriber and you wanna be notified on Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, go ahead and hit the bell to get a notification every single time we post. Thank you so much, and we'll catch you in the next one.